So here I've got a Sansui 8080DB. Um, right now the protector will not turn off. My plan is, I've also got a few lights out here and here and there and I'm going to um, I guess first fix the protector problem uh, and then possibly tackle the light issue. The uh, I'm not an electronics expert but um, I am able to do research on the internet and what I've seen is that there's a driver board inside this thing um, and I can go through and replace all the resistors and capacitors uh, on that board and uh, I've seen that uh, there are a couple uh, resistors in particular that need to be uh, replaced for, for this problem but I, I'm going to go ahead and refresh the entire board and uh, um, hopefully try to uh, get this thing back in operation. So here is the board that needs uh, to work. Sitting right here on top. Pretty easy to get to, not too bad. Um, just need to take these screws. Back here out. This one here. And this one here. This cover should just pop off, and it looks like it just plugs into the board. So it should be able to just pretty easily unplug it. So here it is removed. Uh, only took me a few minutes. Pretty easy to do. So here's the driver board. Um, after I operated on it, I go through here and kind of show you everything that I've replaced. Uh, I tested all of these, all of these resistors, uh, and uh, the ones that I replaced were ones that were out of spec. So I replaced these two. These were the ones that are causing the protector uh, to not click in the green. Those are two 180 ohm resistors. Uh, all the report, all the parts, by the way. Uh, I bought them all from DigiKey and I can provide a uh, parts list of what I bought and what I replaced here. So I replaced this, this, and this board is basically split down the middle, left and right channel. Um, and so it is uh, exactly the same on one side as the other. So when you replace one on the other side, replace the the one on the other side is just the opposite for the channel, a mirror image of that. I replaced this one, this one, and up here. I replaced this resistor, this resistor, this resistor, and then I replaced this capacitor, and this capacitor, and these two capacitors. Um, I bought these capacitors, but I'm going to go ahead and try it as is without replacing them. They're not out of spec, so you know I'll just have those capacitors if I need them. Uh, the piece of paper that I'm sitting on is a printout of the uh, schematic for the board. Uh, these are all the parts I replaced. I just went ahead and marked them as, as I tested them on what I actually needed. Um, this tells you the number of ohms, the number of the wattage. Uh, these quarter watt 180 ohm uh, resistors here, I actually just replaced with half watt resistors. Apparently that's uh, acceptable. Capacitors aren't, for some reason aren't listed on, on this in this list, 
but uh, you know it says what they are on them so it's pretty clear uh, what you need there all right so that's it should be ready to go back together with it there's the back side one thing you do have to be careful with this board is that you don't lift the uh, circuit material on the, on the back side of the board whenever so you know set your soldering iron mine set pretty much as low as it'll go uh, you know roughly 250 215 degrees 225 225 degrees Celsius um, and that that worked out okay for me so I'm going to be placing it back into here here and uh, we'll see how it works. I just want to show how I tested um, the resistor that um, uh, I determined to be out of spec. So this resistor here is the one that um, was actually causing the protection light to go on. This one and its uh, opposite side counterpart. This is the 180 ohm resistor. <coughs> Uh, it's R34, R33 on the spec sheet. Uh, if I test this thing, uh, it is clear, it's, you know, it's set the ohms here. You'll see that, test this thing in the, it's 236 ohms. 0.236 kilo ohms. It's supposed to be 180 uh, for, and within 5% give or take of 180. So that's definitely the problem. Here's another one. Let's just show this one. This this one I believe is supposed to be 150. Uh, that's 161.6 ohms. Uh, so still over the 5% range that it's supposed to be. So that's essentially what I did with uh, all of these. So it helps I plugged it in. Check the that popped right back on. Seated the board back in there. Awesome. Um, I took the front end off while I was waiting for some of the parts to come in and cleaned it. So looks as good as it sounds. Huh? Just need to put the knobs back on, the top on. We're ready to go. Uh, I've still got some lights out. I'm just going to lose those for now. Maybe a future project gets to bother me too bad. But, extremely happy with the outcome here. Got a working receiver again. Thanks for watching.